Hey everyone, let's put a large grid ore detector on a small grid ship. Let's get to it. He did it, and yes, we are in business. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome to another Space Engineers video. I'm Game Explorer Official, and today we're going to talk about space exploration. Um, you can also use this for atmospheric exploration. We're going to put a large grid ore detector on a small grid ship. You see I've already done this over here on this atmospheric miner. It's all the drills are on the bottom. Large grid ore detector on the top and you might ask why would you want a large grid ore detector and the answer is because it has a hundred and fifty meter range instead of a fifty meter range that this small grid detector has. This is critical when you get in space and you're exploring asteroids and it's a it's a good reason to create a large grid ship if you just don't have one but you don't have to do that you can actually put that on a small grid ship you just have to know a couple tricks so I'm going to show you here we go first thing I'm going to do pull everything out of this cargo hold almost everything and what we're going to do is we're going to put a rotor on top of the ship just a regular rotor nothing fancy here I'm just going to put them right there in the middle well I was going to that didn't work Gonna try that again. And you're gonna weld up the bottom. But the top part of the rotor, right here, we're gonna cut this off. Alright? And that's important. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some support around the rotor by just putting in some light armor blocks. Alright. Now what we want to do is go over to the rotor part and you want to change that to a large grid. See what I did there? Change it to a large grid part. Select it. Now you can't just pop it on there because it'll change to a small grid. So what you have to do is get above it. Line yourself up. Just so. it's green. I gotta back up a little bit. Okay, it's green. I'm lined up on top of the rotor and I'm going to drop it. Now let's see if we dropped it correctly. Looks like we may have. Close enough. Alright, so now what we need to do is attach it. So you need to get into the ship Find your rotor. Which is going to be rotor 2 in this case. And we want to attach. So I'm going to select attach. And voila. We now have a large grid rotor part attached. So what I want to do is weld that up. 
what I should have done, and I will now do. I'm going to go back to that rotor. And I'm going to lock him in place. You don't want your rotor spinning. You want to keep that just straight up and down. Now what we're going to do... Now what we're able to do is build that core detector on top of this rotor. So I'm going to select the core detector. You see there it's at an angle. That's not ideal. Alright, we'll have to adjust that. There's my large grid ore detector. Alright. Now let's go back in here and fix him up. an angle of 309. We want to get him to an angle of 360, right? At least I think that's what we want to do. So we'll set it there. spinning. And he's lined up. So now we'll go back in here and lock him in place again. We don't need him moving around. Now we can go to our ore detector. the other one, which we just made. It defaults to half the range. I don't know why. Max out his range. And now you have a 150 meter ore detector sitting on top of your ship. Yeah, he's big. But this is going to be invaluable when you're hunting for uranium and platinum especially. But really anything. Uh, this will be able to penetrate three times further into the rocks in your small grid or detector. Alright, that's it for this tip. I'm Game Explorer Official, and we'll talk to you soon.